Support for Radio Friends comes from Columbia Healthy Smiles, the dental office of husband and wife team, Dr. Batson and Dr. Abe, offering comprehensive and customized care to patients of all ages. Learn more by calling 573-721-9039 or online at www.columbiahealthysmiles.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, October the 5th. And my friend Andrew Grabau is over there. I want to say yes. Andy. <laughs> Good to have you here, Andrew. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, Andrew is from the heart or is the heart of Missouri United Way. Yes. And you're here today to talk about Como Chopped. Yes. What is Como right. Chopped? So Como Chopped is a take off of the television cooking show Chopped, except the version that we have here really works at uh, elevating and, and sharing the treasures that we have with our local restaurants. This idea really came about during the height of the pandemic when our local restaurants that not only employ so many people in our community, but they are the, the reason why so many people love Columbia. During the height of the pandemic, they were closed. United Way did a number of programs to help support furloughed and laid off staff by providing food, bounty boxes, financial support. But once they opened back up, we wanted to give an opportunity to highlight those restaurants. And so the idea of Como Chopped was developed. Mm -hmm. So this is a show. It's actually going to be on Facebook, and I'll get to the date and stuff later. It's a show where we connect local restaurants with local celebrities, and they cook a dish. We have local judges mm -hmm. that rate it, and then we give the community an opportunity to go out and try these dishes. So what are the local restaurants? Yes. So I'm really excited this year. We have uh, local restaurants are Chris McDee's. Um, we have Tellers, uh, Bud's uh, Barbecue, and Stadium Grill. And each one of those teams are paired up with a celebrity chef or a company. So, for example, Veterans United is connected with Chris McDee's. Um, MFA uh, Incorporated in Oil is connected with Tellers. We have uh, the lead pastor from Broadway Christian Church, Mark Briley is connected with Stadium Grill. And then Boone Health, uh, Troy Greer, their CEO, is connected with Bud's Barbecue. So they will, they will be cooking a meal. Then how do people vote on it? Yes. So this is really great. So on the 18th of October at 7 p.m., both on, on Facebook and on YouTube, people can watch the show. You can watch it live? Yes. Uh, we've recorded it ahead of time. Okay. But so yes. it's a recorded yes. thing. You, they're going to watch it and then yes. they're going to vote on it? So then there's three ways that they can, they can participate. First of all, we have judges and I'll, I'll share a little bit about those, but we've got judges. Then people can go to the restaurants. We want everyone to go to those three restaurants. So, or four, excuse me. Chris McDee's, Teller's, Stadium Grill, Bud's Barbecue. Go to those restaurants and try the Como chopped dish. Mm -hmm. And that's one way that they can participate. We also are asking people to cast a vote by making a gift to United Way. One dollar equals one vote. Okay. And that's how it's a fundraiser for United Way's work So also. whichever one they feel is the best, they vote on. That's correct. Do they have to eat it first? <laughs> no. Or you just, you're watching yes. and you say, oh, this really sounds good, and you make a vote? Yeah, I think that would be just fine. If you tune in and watch and really like one of the, the dishes, I highly encourage people to go try all four. Okay. Because they're delicious. Have you tried them all? I sampled most of them. Have you done the show yet? Uh, yes, we've recorded it all. And okay. I, yes. Now, it's going to air simultaneously on YouTube and on Facebook, United Way Facebook. That's correct. Will people be voting on it while it's running? Yes, they will be able to do that. And will you have a tab running 
as to how much money is coming in? Yes, the, the fundraising for each team is in real time, so you'll be able to see how much is raised. So you're going to be sitting there calculating and putting this yes, in. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The, Are well, you really? Well, as people as people v- make online gifts, you know, then you'll be able to see as a gift is. How much are you hoping that you'll raise? So with this? well, so we're really fortunate because we have Hawthorne Bank is our presenting sponsor, and we have a number of other sponsors I'd like to share. But with those and plus our donations, we really hope to raise around forty to fifty thousand dollars. Okay, forty to fifty thousand dollars. That will go a long way. To, will this be added into the goal of what you have for the end of the year? It will. It will go 100% of everything donated. 100% goes to the work that United Way does. Um, the sponsorships help take care of all the digital costs. So every donated, uh, every donation will help with our work in financial stability. Okay, health, so what, what people education. donate will not uh, be used to cover the cost That's of doing right. this program. Correct. The, the the corporate sponsors have already paid yes. for the cost of doing the program. That's exactly that's right. That's nice. Yes, that's, that's nice. exactly right. So, so whatever is donated, you see that on the screen, that goes directly to United Way. It's not to cover any of the expenses. That's right. And so that's why we're so lucky to have Hawthorne Bank as the presenting sponsor. I mentioned Mockins as the digital sponsor. Central Bank of Boone County is the, the judge's sponsor. Uh, can I actually mention who our judges are sure. for this, too? Sure. So Lloyd Henry, who owns... Uh, Big Daddy's Barbecue, uh, who won Como Chopped last year, is returning as a judge. We have Joe Knight, who is with the Columbia Culinary Tours, who also works with Coyote Hill. And then Sarah Fugier, who owns her own catering business. And Sarah is just amazing. She's a great cook. Okay. They are the judges. Yes. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. So uh, you're hoping to raise forty to $50,000. Let's just talk about United Way in general how much do you need to come up with by the end of the year so our you know it's really interesting we are hoping to raise at least 3.1 million dollars so that we can meet the needs in our community 3.1 million yes how has that increased over the years so last year our goal was 3 million um and we we have continued to increase that. Um, every So we, we continue to grow because we recognize the need in our community. We also see the impact. So just in the kind of the few final seconds, I'll share United Way's support generously received from the community allowed us to reach 63,000 individuals <laughs> with services. We are able to then report on actually the success of those services. For example, 63,000 people. That includes making sure our kindergartners are ready for school, that our kids are graduating from high school on time, that people are finding the jobs that they need. So United Way does important work, and this right. fund, th- this event will help us to do that. I appreciate what you do, Andy. For more information, www.uwheartmissouri.org for United Way. And if there's something that you would like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.